David Goggins is a retired U.S. Navy SEAL. He's also a triathlete and an author who writes on personal growth. He has a quote in one of his books where he writes, no matter what you or I achieve in sports, business, or life, we can't be satisfied. Life is too dynamic of a game. We're either getting better or we're getting worse. This quote reflects a mindset that is praised in our culture. We're invited to never settle, to never be satisfied, to not rely on past successes, and to always be striving for the next challenge, the next peak, the next area of personal growth. As I've been walking through the season of Lent, I've been meditating on this concept of never settling and how it could relate to the life of faith. In the Christian faith, there's embedded this concept of what one author calls holy and conformity, of not settling for the world the way it is, dreaming and envisioning of a world that's not marred by sickness, corruption, or death. This is what motivated the civil rights leaders to dream of a new tomorrow where people wouldn't be judged by the color of their skin. It is this concept of holy and conformity that spurs billions of Christians to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We dream of a world made right. And that dream is not just wishful thinking or positive manifestation. It's a dream that's anchored in the historical claim that Jesus was not eclipsed by death, but rose from the dead on the third day. And when he did that, God started a chain reaction of new life that will ultimately bring about a new world of justice, beauty, and love. Next time you hear the phrase, never settle, remember that we don't have to, because God has not settled, but is making all things new. God bless.